Good morning, everybody. Welcome to today's devotion for October 14th. Today's devotion is titled Thriving Together. The Bible reading is from Colossians chapter 3, verses 5 to 16. Put to death, therefore, whatever belongs to your earthly nature, sexual immorality, impurity, lust, evil desires, and greed, which is idolatry. Because of these, the wrath of God is coming. You used to walk in these ways, but in the life... <laughs> you used to walk in these ways in the life you once lived. But now you must also rid yourselves of all such things as these. Anger, rage, malice, slander, and filthy language from your lips. Do not lie to each other since you have taken off your old self with its practices and have put on the new self, which is being renewed in knowledge in the image of its creator. Here there is no Gentile or Jew, circumcised or uncircumcised, barbarian, Scythian, slave or free, but Christ is all and is in all. Therefore, as God's chosen people, holy and dearly loved, Clothe yourselves with compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience. Bear with each other and forgive one another if any of you has a grievance against someone. Forgive as the Lord forgave you. And over all these virtues, put on love, which binds them all together in perfect unity. Let the peace of Christ rule in your hearts since as members of one body you were called to peace. And be thankful. Let the message of Christ dwell among you richly as you teach and admonish one another with all wisdom through psalms, hymns, and songs from the Spirit, singing to God with gratitude in your hearts. My husband, Alan, stood below the towering lights illuminating the athletic field as a member of the opposing team hit a ball into the air. With his eyes fixed on the ball, Alan ran full speed toward the darkest corner of the field and slammed into the chain link fence. Later that night, I handed him an ice pack. Are you feeling okay? I asked. He rubbed his shoulder. I'd feel better if my buddies had warned me that I was getting near the fence, he said. Teams function best when they work together. Alan's injury could have been avoided if only one of his teammates had yelled out a warning as he approached the fence. Scripture reminds us that members of the church are designed to work together and watch out for each other like a team. The Apostle Paul tells us that God cares about how we interact with each other because the actions of one person can impact the whole community of believers. When we all embrace opportunities to serve each other, fully devoted to unity and peace, the church flourishes. Paul instructed his readers to let the message of Christ dwell among you richly as you teach and admonish one another with all wisdom through psalms, hymns, and songs from the Spirit. In this way, we can inspire and protect one another through loving and honest relationships, obeying and praising God with grateful hearts, thriving together. How can you share scripture this week with others to encourage unity and love in the body of Christ? What does it mean for you to have the message of Christ dwelling among you richly? Thank you for joining me for today's devotion and I hope you all have a wonderful day.